Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Backbone 1 USB-C controller, gaming controller. This is the one made for the iPhone 15 series. Um, let's go ahead and open it up and give it a try. You can see I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and we're going to be testing it out today. Kind of a tough one for me to open up. Let me set that down for a second. to make an unboxing video so I don't actually have a good camera set up. I'm actually filming this on another iPhone 15 Pro Max. But as you can see, it's pretty basic. There's the controller here. There's a QR code to download the app, which I've already done on my iPhone 15 prior to buying it. Um, controls feel pretty good, toggle switches. Um, it does come with something here. Let's see what we got here. It's a, a swap adapter to fit more phones, so I'm not sure if we're going to need that, but let's check it out. Um, let's see what else they have in the box. Just some instructions. There's no cords or uh, any other type of adapters other than the, the one right here, which I don't know if we'll need yet, but we'll check it out. Um, so... We'll go ahead and take my iPhone 15. Oh, let me show you that. And as you can see, I've already downloaded the Backbone app. So it just says to connect Black Backbone to continue. So let's go ahead with that. And let me set you guys down for a second and let's get it fitted on. Okay, so it actually fit on really nicely and let me go ahead and get back in the right mode. So it says, welcome to Backbone. Go ahead and press A to continue. And we can sign in with Apple. So let me flip this around, go ahead and... Oh, I might need to do that again. It did not catch the face ID, but let me try that again. And here we go. Face ID. Looks like we're in. Um, complete your registration. So I'm going to have to go and put my phone number in, which I'm going to go ahead and not let you guys see that. Wait for the M SMS message to come through. There it is. Go ahead, verify the code. Uh, it says to redeem your perks. As you can see, it's kind of cool. The button lit up here. Um, looks like there's some other bonus perks, so I'm going to go ahead and agree. Um, go ahead and pick an emoji for your profile. I don't really know what I want. So let's just go with that little monkey guy. How about that? Press A to continue. Going to display your backbone name. I'm going to go ahead and put T I H G D E M. That's usually in the number two. If you look for me on Game Center, you could probably find me at Tim Higdom 2, T Higdom 2. And we'll go ahead and hit A. Backbone 1 works with compatible cases. I don't have a case on mine right now, but I do have just this 
kind of cheap case that I bought at Best Buy. Um, just a clear, hard plastic case. Um, but I did take it off for the video today. And let's go ahead and hit OK. Stay up to date to allow push notifications. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Go ahead and hit allow. Uh, secure your bragging rights. So there is a record button so you can record when you are gaming, which is kind of neat. Um, I haven't ever really done that before, but um, I think I might start doing it now that I have this controller. Um, and it says if you hold the button, you can start a screen recording. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out. Save, share great moments. Um, cool. Uh, keep your clips. Uh, I can enable photo permissions to save my gameplay clips using the capture button, which is cool. So I'm going to allow that and I'll uh, just limit access. I'm not really sure what it's wanting here, but let's just skip through that. Uh, find your friends on Backbone faster. Um, and like I said, uh, I put as my uh, username T-H-I-G-D-E-M and the number two, so if you want to find me on there and uh, play some games against me, I'd be more than happy. So we'll hit allow, <clears throat> allow it to access my contacts. Uh, three people I know may already own Backbone. I'm gonna go ahead and skip for now because I don't even really know who they are. Uh, find games that support controllers in the app stores, games tab, they'll have this icon. So there are a few games that I do know work with it. Um, Call of Duty. Mobile is a good one, and I also have downloaded the new Resident Evil Village that's only available on the iPhone 15 Pro series. Um, you can also play on Xbox Game Pass. I do have Xbox. Um, I'm not going to set that up now, but that is something that I will probably do and do some cloud gaming, which is really fun. Um, so it looks like we're good to go. Um, I can press the backbone button, which is this one here anytime and it'll open up the app, which is pretty cool, but that's basically it. Um, did come with three months free Apple, uh, arcade, which I've already got. So, um, which is really cool, but you know, as you can see, uh, it's uh, showing me all the perks and everything. So. Um, cool. Claim your free 30 days of Backbone Plus. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and set that up. Um, looks like I can just double click the side button. Oh, I gotta do that again. Oh, I don't want to have to do that for this video. Let me start that over. Go ahead and complete setup. Okay. Purchase was successful. I got 30 days of Backbone Plus. And here you can see it opens up and it kind of has all my all my games that I already have that are playable um, all in one neat little spot. Um, I've been playing Ocean Horn 2. Got Madden NFL 23 Mobile. We got Roblox, Call of Duty Mobile. And then it has some suggested titles. Um, however, uh, I guess let's just for fun, let's go ahead and open up Oceanhorn 2. And just like that, boom, Apple Arcade, everything's gonna come up. And yeah, there's the game. All right, guys, uh, I hope um, my video was somewhat helpful. It's a little sloppy, but like I said, this is my first unboxing video, but there you are, the Backbone one. Um, made for iPhone 15 with the USB-C. This is the second generation. I did notice that they sell one that is USB-C, but it doesn't have the made for iPhone logo on there. And if you do get that one, you will have to use an Android phone to set up with a software update. So I would recommend that if you're using it for iPhone 15 Pro, go ahead and find the one that says made for iPhone. All right, thanks guys.